the richest family in the world, the Rothschilds. In the history of the world, there have been several wealthy and powerful families. These include the Waltons, Ambonis, and the Thompsons. So how much do you think these families are worth? One billion dollars, four billion dollars, or eight billion dollars? The answer may startle you, but it's none of the above. The world's richest families are worth a lot more than that. We're talking between 30 billion to well over 200 billion dollars. One family that falls into this exclusive bracket of wealth is the Rothschild family. And in this video, we'll be taking a closer look at how this family became one of the wealthiest in the world. Before we get into it, kindly hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with more interesting videos like this. Overview of the Rothschild family. The Rothschild family have Jewish origins, and they became a force to be reckoned with thanks to Mayor Amschel Rothschild. They are of German descent, Frankfurt to be specific. Mayor Rothschild was a court factor of the German landgraves of Hessel Castle in Frankfurt, who ventured into the banking sector sometime in the 1760s. Mayer expanded his business internationally with the help of his five sons, who he put in charge of his business in Paris, Vienna, Frankfurt, London, and Naples. It was only a matter of time before a successful business mogul and his family would attain the noble rank in the Holy Roman Empire, as well as the UK. Their family name comes from the family house of Rothschild, which was built by Isaac L. Cannon Bacharach in 1567. The house was also located in Frankfurt, Germany. In the 19th century, the Rothschild family owned the largest private wealth on earth. However, the 20th century saw a decline in the family's wealth, as it was split among many of its descendants. As of today, they have stakes in many economic sectors. These include real estate, mining, farming, wine-making, non-profit organizations, and of course, the financial sector. As you would expect, a family as rich and as powerful as theirs wouldn't be spared of conspiracy theories, most of which circle around anti-Semitism. The Napoleonic Wars Before the Napoleonic Wars in 1803, the Rothschild family already had a notable amount of wealth to their name, as they were major players in the bullion trade. Nathan Mayer Rothschild was majorly responsible for funding the British War between 1813 and 1815. He did pretty much single-handedly. He oversaw the shipment of bullion to the armies of the Duke of Wellington all over Europe, and he paid British financial subsidies to their allies. In 1815, the Rothschilds made over 9.8 million in subsidy loans to the British Continental Allies. This figure is equivalent to about $869 million today. Mayer's sons assisted with the coordination of all Rothschild activities across Europe. During this time, they established a network of shippers, agents, and couriers who transported gold across Europe, which was in a war crisis at the time. The family network was also responsible for providing Nathan Rothschild up-to-date information regarding political and financial happenings to ensure he stays ahead of his peers information-wise. With a good exchange of priceless information, the Rothschild family ensured they remained relevant and invaluable to the British government. There was an instance where Nathan, who was in London, received information from the family network that Wellington had won the Battle of Waterloo. He got this news almost 24 hours ahead of the British government's official messengers. Being the first to get this news, Nathan had a financial advantage on the market, yet that wasn't his priority. Instead, his most pressing concern was to take the news to the British government. Although some accounts claim he did use the news to gain financial advantage in the market. That aside, the Rothschild's most profitable play was made after the news of Wellington's victory had already been spread. Nathan Rothschild figured that future cuts in government borrowing due to the newfound peace would bring about a bounce in British government bonds after a two-year stabilization period, and this would help restructure the domestic economy after the war. Nathan made one of the bravest financial moves the world has ever seen. He quickly bought up the government bond market for what many considered to be an outrageous price. He then waited two years and sold the bonds off a short bounce in the market in 1817. He made a gigantic profit of 40% off of this transaction. Nathan Mayer Rothschild kicked off his business in 1806 in the city of Manchester. He later moved the business headquarters to London in 1809. They have the same London address up to this day, at New Court St. Swithin's Lane. He founded N. M. Rothschild and Sons in 1811, and in 1818 he granted a $5 million loan to the Prussian government. As of today, that figure equals about $370 million. Since then, issuing bonds for government loans became the main crux of his bank's business. Nathan Mayer Rothschild's business had become so powerful that between the years 1825 to 1826, he was able to supply the Bank of England with enough coin which helped it avoid a market liquidity crisis. International High Finance 
The banking businesses of the Rothschild family were pioneers of international high finance. As at this time, Europe was going into its industrialization phase. They were major players in the development of the railway systems all over the globe. In the 19th century, the Rothschild family purchased a major portion of the property in Mayfair, London. Brazil's independence from Portugal in the early 19th century can be credited directly to the involvement of the Rothschild family. The Brazilian government agreed to pay a sum of $2 million to Portugal as compensation for their independence. And guess who raised the money? N. M. Rothschild and Sons. In 1825, Nathan Rothschild raised the total required amount. He was involved in raising the first installment of the amount, which was $1 million in 1824. As part of the price for Portugal to recognize Brazil as an independent state, the Brazilian government was to handle the repayment of the principal and interest on a $1.5 million loan, which was granted to the Portuguese government in 1823 by N. M. Rothschild and Sons. The 19th century was a very profitable period for the Rothschild family. Their money founded so many major businesses around the world. These include Alliance Assurance, 1824, now Royal and Son Alliance, Chemin de Fur du Nord, 1845, the Rio Tinto Mining Company, 1873, the Rothschilds took a total control of the Rio Tinto Mining Company in the late 1880s. Aramet, 1880. Emerus, 1880. De Beers, 1888. The African colony of Rhodesia was also funded by the Rothschild family on behalf of Cecil Rhodes. During the Russo-Japanese Wars, the Japanese government sought help from the Rothschild family. They needed funding for weapons and supplies. N. M. Rothschild and Sons issued war bonds to the tune of 11.5 million pounds in 1907. That's about 1.1 billion today. The Rothschild family name had now become synonymous with great wealth and affluence. Countries were running to them for loans and bailouts and their businesses kept on expanding. They were also framed for having expensive pieces of artwork in their collection, as well as a palace-style residence. Philanthropy work also helped increase their popularity. They had built an unbelievable number of palaces by the end of the 19th century, 41 to be exact. These were no ordinary palaces, as they were at par or even more luxurious than many royal palaces. According to the British Chancellor of the Exeter Lloyd George, Nathan Rothschild was the most powerful man in the world as at 1909. The Frankfurt House was closed in 1901 after over 100 years in business. This is because there was no male heir to take over. However, the family business returned to Frankfurt in 1989 when the British investment arm, Bank Rothschild AG, the Swiss branch, and NM Rothschilds and Sons set up a representative banking office there. Modern Business, Investment, and Philanthropy The Rothschild family has maintained an out-of-sight public profile since the 19th century. Since then, they have given away several artworks, estates, and money for charitable causes. They did many of these charitable works discreetly. The modern day has seen the Rothschilds' business reduced to a smaller scale than they were during the 19th century. Nonetheless, their business ventures still cover many sectors in the world economies. These include mixed farming, real estate, energy, winemaking, and financial services. The Rothschild Group Since 2003, the Rothschild Continuation Holdings RCH, have been in control of a group of Rothschild banks. The RCH is a Swiss registered holding company under the chairmanship of Baron David René de Rothschild. The RCH itself is controlled by Concordia BV, which is a Dutch registered master holding company. Paris Orleans, which is a French registered holding company, is responsible for managing Concordia BV. It doesn't stop there. Paris Orleans is in turn controlled by Rothschild Concordia SAS, which is a Rothschild family holding company. All Rothschild banking institutions in France and continental Europe are controlled by the Rothschild and CA Bank. The Rothschild Continuation Holdings, AG, are in control of several Rothschild banks, including NM Rothschilds and Sons in London. In 2005, Rothschild Continuation Holdings, AG, sold 20% of its business to Jardine Strategic, a subsidiary of Jardine Matheson & Company in Hong Kong. Rabobank Group, which is the number one investment bank in the Netherlands, acquired 7.5% of Rothschild Continuation Holdings AG. This was in 2008. The French and English branches of the Rothschild Group are in control of the Paris Orleans SA, which is a financial holding company listed on Euronext Paris. Coincidentally, Paris Orleans is the flagship of the Rothschilds Banking Group, which oversees the affairs of the Rothschild Group's banking businesses. These include NM Rothschild & Sons as well as Rothschild & CA Bank. Paris Orleans currently have more than 2,000 employees. 
Eric de Rothschild, Robert de Rothschild, and Count Philippe de Nicolai are its directors. Today, N.M. Rothschild and Sons act as advisors for mergers and acquisitions. They stepped back from the gold market in 2004, which was a great surprise, being that the family had traded in gold for more than 200 years. It ranked second place in UK mergers and acquisitions in 2006, thanks to deals worth around $104.9 billion. In the same year, N.M. Rothschild & Sons recorded an annual profit of $83.2 million pre-tax, with assets of around $5.5 billion. Wine Businesses For over two centuries, the Rothschild family have been in the business of winemaking. Nathaniel de Rothschild bought the Chateau brand Mouton in 1853, which he later renamed to Chateau Mouton Rothschild. Years later, in 1868, James Mayer de Rothschild acquired Chateau Lafitte, which he also renamed to Chateau Lafitte Rothschild. As of later today, the Rothschild family are among the most prolific winemaking families in the world. Rothschild Art and Charity When it comes to art, there is hardly a family you can think of in the world that has a more prized collection than the Rothschild family. At a time, they boasted of the largest private art collection on earth. In fact, a huge portion of the world's public museums are filled with art donations from the Rothschild family. Some say many of these donations were not made public, as the family preferred to remain anonymous with their donations. However, it's hard to remain anonymous with such expensive donations. In 2014, Hannah Mary Rothschild was appointed as chair of the board of the National Gallery of London. Conclusion Now you know how and why the Rothschild family are among the wealthiest in the world. Their ventures from finance to real estate and winemaking have set them ahead of many other wealthy families in the world. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content such as this. Thanks for watching.